one of the things that makes our tools unique off of the old vintage planes is that we offer three different frog angles. The standard angle that comes in just about any plane is a 45 degree frog. And with the older planes, you don't have any option other than to put a back bevel on a blade. With our planes, if you want to change the angle to a steeper angle, we offer a 50 and 55 degree angle. Up until recently, we had the 50 degree for the two inch wide blades, which is the number four and the number five. And we had a 50 and 55 degree frog for the two and three eighths blades, which is the four and a half, the five and a half, the six and the seven. Uh, the traditional name for that would be a York pitch for a 50 degree and a middle pitch for a 55 degree. We just recently offered a 55 degree frog for the number four, and we're just about to have a 50 and 55 degree frog for the number three. So any blades, any tools with a blade that has the same size as the number three, or the same size as a number four, or the same size as the two and three eighths blades, those all have those three frog options. Now, people often ask, how complicated it is to change out the frog. And it's actually very simple. The bedrock system has these two outside screws in the back of the frog area that lock into these two pins. So to remove the frog altogether, you loosen the screws on the outside. Lift out the frog, switch over to the other frog, the one the size you want, and there are little slots in the top of these pins. Those slots orient to the holes inside there. You want to face the holes back towards the handle on the plane, and then those will catch on these two screws. There's a cone-shaped tip on the screw that locks into those holes. When you tighten everything down, that's what pulls it into place. By having those little slots on there, you can make sure everything's oriented properly. Tighten down the screws. i get them to where they just sort of snug up and then go maybe a quarter turn or so for tight. Set the blade back in. With the lever cap. And now you can see if the, the frog is in the appropriate position. I want to loosen that cap screw a little bit. By running the blade out to a cutting depth, you'll see what if the mouth opening is correct. I need to close down the mouth. So I'll loosen the screws about a quarter turn. And run that out. Until it closes down about where I want to be. Now one of the advantages of the bedrock system is that you don't have to take the blade out to make that adjustment. So now as I back it down in, just looking for the mouth opening. I want to close that down as tight as I can get it and still let the shaving pass through that I'm going to be taking with the plane. Because this is a smoothing plane, I'm making that very, very tight. Now I could possibly go a little tighter than that, but that's decent for most smoothing operations. So swapping out a frog 
is a nice, simple, easy thing to do. It adds some mass to the tool, which is an advantage of using a, a higher angle frog as opposed to simply putting a back bevel on the blade.